so now let us move on to uh, another example and demonstration where we will be creating and creating a new uh, file from scratch and where we have, we will be using to uh, target weak credentials for a WordPress login. So we already know that the login interface for WordPress would be the U, uh, the base path slash wp login dot php in most of the cases. So what we are we are doing that having that information on hand, we can actually go go about and actually go and uh, see how actually we can uh, brute force or you can say test for weak weak credentials that are in the WordPress default login page. So let us uh, move ahead with the demonstration of create, creating a simple test case file uh, for our nuclei. So in, in this case, we are calling it template where actually we will be seeing how actually we can test for weak user credentials by using the brute forcing method. So I have already made a template on my desktop. I will just uh, file that I have created and already contributed this file to the community. So if you are having the recent, most recent version of the templates and uh, nuclei scanner you should already have this uh, script in your uh, uh, fuzzing fuzzing category of nuclei templates where actually it is now renamed as the uh, weak credential test so cd nuclei templates yes, fuzzing and here is the wordpress themes uh, wordpress weak credentials wordpress weak credentials so yeah, this uh, this this is the file, and this is the original file that I have created and contributed to the community. So yeah, let us do one thing. Let us just first close it, and I will explain you what it is and how actually we can proceed and create this thing. Yeah, fine. So this is basically the ID. As per if you read the documentation, uh, let me just show you documentation for creating templates. So if you are, uh, there are two types of requests if you are creating, you can create either base request with this documentation uh, specification or you can create raw HTTP request de depending on that. But raw HTTP requests are actually much more flexible. You can actually play more with it. You can get more uh, uh, leverage using this, uh, uh, using this raw HTTP request in a YML format. But I will also recommend you to have uh, to understand the basic uh, Basically, you can say the indentation parts or the uh, directives in YAML, how actually you can go about creating this template. So uh, take some time and read the uh, documentation about YAML. So you will get a gist of that because I also face, face some issues for creating this uh, template. So uh, never mind. Uh, this is how actually we can uh, go about and basically we can uh, find no problem. Now let me just show you on what how actually we can go about and uh, uh, you can go with this to create some templates. Okay, so let me just explain you what 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 is happening here. So going line by line. So this is basically this is general information that we will be seeing here. These are these are all the ge uh, general information that we are including as per the documentation as per the specification. Now. First, we will begin with mimicking a login request. So now, mimicking a login request, that means we need to first have a base request and we need to capture that request in our word, in our work suite and we should be having a replica of that request and we need to change very few things in that which are actually dynamic in nature. I will sh I'll show you. So let me just show you how actually we can uh, go about that. So let me just go with the chrome browser here that we have uh, which is which has been connected to my burp suite so here is my and you will login dot php this is the request that it is going so this this is how you can see uh, that this is my login request so we can just uh, randomly put anything any user that we might we might want to put say for example admin in this case and anything that i punch as password so this is how actually now we'll just hit for that and let us go. And we should also understand that what is the request going and what is the response coming. Uh, because actually why we need so is because we need to put a matching condition. What happens if this condition is true and what happens if this condition is false and based on that you can put the rules and proceed accordingly. Okay, so let us go to our burp and let me show you how the our request will be looking like. So wp login.php. This was the base request. Then actually we sent a post request with the parameter. So this is the I think the, yeah. All right. Okay, good. I think this should be visible to you. 
let me just make some changes yeah it should be visible now all right so this is the post request that is going the host so this basically will change on a case by case basis so we will be ch changing it and uh, how we are putting it next will be the origin also that will also change in case by case basis all right next will be the uh, these things now what i what i have done is the username and password only i have kept rest the cookie things and all those stuff i have just uh, omitted there uh, during the testing phase i found this more convenient and more easy to use so what i did i just copy pasted this whole request and i will and i just uh, yeah let me just go back to my terminal and show you see this is that exact request uh, also you should be paying attention to your uh, indentation here so general indentation are going for two spaces and then actually you are going with this raw request and like so you are putting your raw request in this post it's the same to same now the uh, variables that you are putting that will be coming in dynamic they will be co uh, putting uh, inside the uh, cur curly braces so double, double curly braces so you are putting like this same same goes with the base you are also what about the base you are is the origin that you are getting you have to change that next uh, as per the request you have to change that and rest of all the things are pretty standard and pretty same now here the thing comes in so here we here the request that the parameters that are going to the uh, through the post request that is log and the users and pwd passwords so what is that uh, just like uh, just like the burp suites uh, pitchfork sniper or cluster bomb attack you have to actually mark this uh, variables where you need to put dynamically so uh, here it is it is exactly same like the burp suite uh, intruder tool that we are using everyone will be familiar with this tool okay so these are the username and password that i have marked for brute forcing or you can say checking for weaker credentials now we i am putting the payloads here so i am putting the users so this users and this users whatever we have marked here and here this should be the same next i am putting the path of usernames and passwords for my username dictionary next if i am putting passwords here so this is the password list and this is the password list that is going in the request now this is the thing that i am putting next if you if uh, depending on the type of request and depend depending on the type of your test that you are performing so your attack type would be either sniper but not in this case because it is having uh, multiple payloads either it could be pitchfork or it could be cluster bomb so in this case we are using the attack as cluster bomb next what we are doing is we are setting the conditions for checking successful login okay so now in this case our 302 redirect will be the case where actually we are uh, redirecting to our wp admin login page so that is why uh, we are putting it that so what are the matching conditions that we have put so basically we are telling that status type would be our matching condition primarily and if we are getting a status of 302 in the header part then actually we will consider that our test is successful and our user is successfully logged in to the application so this is how this will be working so let me just show you the uh, uh, what will happen in case our uh, username and password are correct so let me just close this and i will be showing you here is my password i will just copy this password here and we'll try to paste it over in our burp suite and see what is the actual response that we are getting when we are so here in repeater we are putting our request and yes this is the password that we are putting here is our password that we need to punch in so that is that has been punched in this is the password and the username would be user so we need we have run the previous workflow for wp security checks so assuming that our username is user here and we are running see here we are getting 302 found here so we are putting that condition we also can put a condition in the new script uh, that has been uploaded the condition for wordpress uh, login and wordpress uh, admin wp redirect that is also put uh, let, let us let us see see here in this last after this wp admin or the wordpress admin logged in in the header part has been set for checking the condition that if we have actually logged in so this is an extra condition that is that has been added so that is also a nice thing this is also a nice thing we are considering for the case of 302 but fine this is basically this will act as a uh, you can say extra precaution or safety net that if you might get into 
so this is one thing so we can use this script and we can actually keep running this thing and we can go so let me just uh, run this script for you so this is the template and we'll see okay so yeah here we got wordpress login test okay so i have put medium but that is not medium actually but yes username is user and password is the password that we got so in this way we can create our own templates and we can go about so in this way you can actually create your own templates so and i encourage you and i highly stress on the point that you should and you must create your own templates because to get a better result from nuclei to get more accurate test results in your pen test or bug bounty programs you should and you must create your own test cases rather than depending on uh, community uh, power, uh, communities uh, templates community templates are good up to a certain level after that actually it is up to you because all the uh, users that are using temp uh, the, uh, the default templates might already have found the issues and might have been reported and based on that if you uh, based on those template only if you are trying to report the vulnerabilities that you discovered you might end up with duplicates also so be wary of that and kindly mind that so uh, yes this is a basically a tool with high say, potential of uh, discovering vulnerabilities uh, right from very very simple to very very complex vulnerabilities in nature so you should actually uh, keep a practice of uh, running this uh, tool and using this tool very very frequently in your pen test and do contribute in the community it is a very good thing because uh, by the by your help only the community will grow and it will be uh, becoming uh, enriched all right so this was in my mind about uh, the video video to create on uh, the nuclei tool i hope you have liked this video uh, kindly like share and subscribe to the channel so that we can bring a, a, a quality content for you regarding cyber security pen test and bug bounty tools thank you very much for uh, for, for for your uh, time i really hope this video will be very much useful to you so with this note we will be meeting in the next video thank you very much